Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about claims principle, claims identity, claims in .NET security. Knowing these concepts is important if you want to work with .NET identity or any other web security framework. Authentication means identifying a subject. A subject can be a user, an external application or whatever. So ASP.NET Core identity is a framework that uses claims based authentication to authenticate users. So users are authenticated based on claims in .NET security frameworks. Let's try to understand the concepts of claims principle, claims identity and claims using a very simple example. Suppose a person goes to an airport. There before entering the airport, the security person may ask for his identity. Then he may show his ticket and his passport. And the passport will contain the details about the person like name, date of birth, nationality, the passport number, etc. etc. The person who is being authenticated is the claims principal. And the passport which contains the identity information of the person is called the claims identity. And the facts which are present in the passport or the claims identity are called claims. So ultimately a claim is a fact or a statement about the user. And claims identity contains the claims about the user. Now if the same person is traveling on road, an officer can ask for his driving license. And the driving license is also a claims identity because it contains the claims about the user. In the driving license, you have the identity information about the user. What is his name? What is his address? What is the user's photo? What is the license number? Etc. Etc. So driving license also contains the identity information or the claims about the user. So it is also a claims identity. Suppose a person goes to a polling booth to cast his vote. The voter ID of the person is a claims identity because it contains the claims about the user. Like what is his name? What is his address? What is his gender? What is his voter number? Etc. Etc. So let's try to summarize what is claims, claims identity and claims principle using this example. A claim is a statement about the user. It's basically like a key value pair, name equal to John, date of birth equal to 30th August, nationality equal to Indian. So basically claim is a key value pair which is a statement about the user. And multiple claims can be present in an identity and it's called claims identity. So a claims identity carries the claims about the user. and the user itself who is being authenticated is called a claims principle. So a user can have multiple claims identities and each claims identity can have claims about the users. Now that we have understood what is a claims principle, claims identity and claim, let's try to go to the slides. Claim is a statement about the subject which is provided by an issuer. So claim is a key value pair. For example, user id equal to 236 as per system date of birth equal to 1st Jan 2006 as per Gmail. So user ID is key, 236 is value and the issuer is the system. In the second example, key is date of birth, value is 1st Jan 2006 and it was provided by Gmail while the user was signing up with Gmail account. A collection of claims about the subject is a claims identity. For example, a driving license, a passport, a voter ID, these are all claims identities. And one more concept you need to know about claims identity in .NET is it contains a property called authentication type. It specifies how the claims identity was authenticated for the user. For example, in real world, the claims identity passport can be authenticated to the user by checking his fingerprints. So here the authentication type can be checking the user's fingerprint. Maybe in reality, it's checking his fingerprint, seeing his face, asking the user his name. So there can be a procedure to associate the claims identity with the user. For easy understanding, I said checking the user's fingerprint, but in reality, the authentication type can be a procedure using which the claims identity was associated with the user. For ASP.NET Core applications, the authentication type can be password-based, multi-factor, federated, etc. What's the claims principle? It represents the subject being authenticated. In our case, the user who is logging into the web application. It can have one or more claims identities. For example, a person can have a driving license, a passport, a voter ID, his organization's ID card. All these are claims identities of the person who is a claims principal. Now let's talk about the claim, claim identity and claims principal classes in .NET. In .NET there are security frameworks like ASP.NET Core Identity or you can implement your own identity framework using cookies or tokens etc. Those frameworks use these classes to maintain the claims principal, claims identity and claim about the user. So there is a class called claim and you can create a claim simply using this key and value. So you can create a claim like this and claims identity is obviously a collection of claims. So you can create a claims identity very easily using a list of claims 
and this is the claims authentication type it can be password two factor or actually in dotnet applications it's called application and this is the key of the claim which identifies the user's name and this is the key of the claim which identifies the roles of the user you can see you can have multiple claims with the same key for example a user can have multiple roles so you can give one claim which is role user and you can have another claim which is role admin and ultimately using claims identities you can create a claims principle here i'm creating the claims principle using the claims identity in the blog post i have already given the link to the claims class in the microsoft documentation you can learn about what are the properties how are the constructors what are the methods you can access in the claims class i have also given links to the claims identity class also you can see what is the class what are the constructors available what are the fields what are the properties available in the claims identity class i have also given the link to the claims principle class documentation you can see what are the constructors available what are the properties what are the methods so if you want to learn more about how to use these classes you can refer that documentation so once the claims principle is created here the user variable is the claims principle you can have a lot of handy methods like does the claims principle has this role what is the claim value for the key name or else does the claims principle have a claim with key name and value alice and if you want to get all the claims based on a key you can write user dot find all in this case i am getting the claims for the claim key role so this way by using this standard claims principle classes you can have a lot of handy functions you can use if you implement your own security all right we have covered an example of a person using claims identities in real world like passport driving license voter id etc let's try to understand how the concepts of claims principle claims identity and claims will be used in docnet security frameworks suppose a user successfully logs in with his password or two factor or otp or biometric etc after the user logs in the application provides a claims identity to the user the claims identity contains claims about the user like what is the user's username email subject roles of the users etc so subsequently when the user visits the application he provides his claims identity and the application will authenticate the user with this claims identity and will get to know about the claims of the users like what is his username email etc it's just like a security officer checking the passport at an airport the application will check the claims identity and will authenticate the user after he has successfully logged in generally in a dotnet application using standard frameworks like identity framework there will be only one claims identity which will be used for authenticating the user but in the process of authenticating with multiple factors like if the user is authenticating using a otp or two factor or if the user is authenticating using some external logins like google login temporary claims identities will be created while authenticating the users using this multi factor or external authentications once these claims identities are verified by the application these claims will be merged in the main claims identity so let's get more specific and see how a claims principle can be used in a cookie based authentication system so after the user submits his request in the login page the user will verify the details of the user like is the email and password combination correct or the username password otp combination is correct and all of those stuff and once the user is authenticated the application will look up the user's details in the database and create a claims principle based upon that user info like the username email roles etc would be looked up in the user database and a claims principle would be created now this claims principle would be encoded and encrypted by the application and it will be embedded in the cookie the encoding and encryption is just for compatibility and making sure that the claims principle is not tampered because the cookie resides in the browser of the user and the user can tamper the cookie or some virus can tamper the cookie so to understand if the cookie is tampered the claims principle is encoded and encrypted before embedding in the cookie so after a user successfully logs in a claims principle is created and embedded in the cookie and sent to the browser and after successfully creating the cookie in the browser when the user visits the pages of the application the application will check if a cookie is present with the claims principle and if it's a valid claims principle the user will be authenticated and if the page requires some roles of the user it will be checked and the page would be loaded So claims principle is like an ID card being carried by the user after logging in while visiting the application. So that's it guys. You can see I have created a blog post on claims principle, claims identity and claims in .net security. I have given the notes and the links and the diagrams so that you can easily understand the concepts. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching.
Peace.